DIYs by Dar. Let's make it blue. This is the blue challenge, which is hosted by Andy from Flip Pop. So anything that has the color blue in it goes. Mm -hmm. I had a piece, well, actually two pieces that didn't sell. So I am going to take this finish off, which you can see is really dusty. And my sandpaper was not really working. So I had to get the scraper out and scrape all of this sea spray and paint additive off, which was pretty thick, before I could actually get some sandpaper to work over the surface. So I had to scrape the entire thing down first. Now the legs on the table were a little bit wonky and I thought maybe that was affecting its sale. So I went ahead and drilled some holes in there for some screws and put some glue in the areas that I could and applied screws on each leg on the inside corner there and it just really helped a lot. I needed to wash this. So I made up a batch of some pretty strong TSP. I have my gloves on and I gave this thing a very, very thorough scrubbing with all the dust um, that was created. There it is. This is what I'm working with. Now I have some boss primer and I decided to go ahead and hit it with this first. I just put one coat on all over the chair and you can see that I left the rope that was wrapped around the lower legs on the chair and on the table. I left that on there. Um, so I went ahead and I got my primer on. Now here are my colors. I only use two colors and these were Dixie Bell all-in-one silk paints. So they have the primer in them and they also have a top coat. So I won't have to put a top coat on this portion. And the colors that I used were Deep Sea and then you'll see me come in with some Serenity is the other color and I used a little bit of a stiff brush so I could stipple and pounce these colors on as well as one point I did use a rag because I wanted this to look like water. Here we go. I have all my base colors down. I'm ready to go and start adding my stencils on the top of my chair and my table. And the stencils I used came from Folk Art Sign Shop from Amazon. And this is a fan coral and I'm going to use that deep sea again. and. Being a silk stencil, you can either 
put the paint on and use like a straight edge and pull it across almost like uh, silk printing a t-shirt. Uh, I used a brush and I swirled it in circles. It worked pretty good until I got to the third one which told me you need to clean these out almost uh, every time after you use them because them little holes get uh, so filled up with paint you, you can't get them through. So you're going to have to take and clean it after every time you use it. And here you can see I really didn't get any pattern there. Now it's time for my big ugly. And on um, these stencils what I used was just the mineral paint in drop cloth which I was going to have to seal all my fish um, with a top coat. So I just used some matte polycrylic. gotta be perfect on this dark colored paint and he's looking pretty good I'm liking it you can see that I put another stencil on there which came in this group it's just like a little plant of some sort and here I have all my stencils pretty much on the top of the chair the top of the table um, on the very, very top of the chair, I also put a couple smaller skeleton fish on there, which you can see. And on the bottom of the table, uh, the color was a little bit dark on the outside, so I did have to make a little bit of an adjustment on that color because my sea fan was not, gonna, not going to show up on that, that dark, dark blue. Here I am getting my tiny little fish in there and I just put something on the edge because I didn't want to go over and get that white paint on my backdrop um, because it would really stick out and it would be kind of hard to fix. So I just stuck a piece of sandpaper there as I was tapping my paint in. Here is the back of my chair, and I added something everybody should do is seize the day. Now the rungs. I used a Posca pen in silver and gold, and I had to freehand all this because I just couldn't find anything that really worked with it. So I decided worms, bubbles, and fish hooks. And this was one of the other things that I had to seal. Um, and what I did was I sprayed it first with some polycrylic before I went with the brush over it just so I wouldn't run the colors. Remember what I started with. And if you can't swim with the big fishies, you got to stay on the porch, friends.
Oh, this piece was so much fun, you guys. Thanks for the challenge, Andy. And my next video will be up next weekend at regular time, Sunday at 7. And it is another challenge with Corey from Desert DIY. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.